Hello and welcome to a brand new stream of Aquascapers. I did cover this game, uh, the demo back in November of 2023 last year. And uh, it was a very interesting game and it left me very curious and I was eagerly waiting for the game to finally release. So the game is finally released at early access and I am going to check it out. Before I do that, however... I just wanted to check the stream health and all right it's looking gucci now uh what is this game about aquascapers is about aquariums aquascaping you know plants fish in a aquarium uh, that's what you do but the unique thing about aquascapers which, which sets this apart from all other aquascaping games that i've covered previously and that are out there on the market is this is a sort of first person sort of open world type of a game uh so basically your plants and your fish and your driftwood and your rocks you're going to collect it out in the field so there are maps uh that are you know nice uh nicely spaced where you can run out there and collect that stuff there are skill points uh, there are also missions, uh, clients, people will want you to aquascape for them. So all the resources you collected, you can escape for them at their place, at their house, and you can earn money and experience that way. It's a very interesting game. It's the first time this has been done. So I'm super excited about it. Um, when I checked the demo out in November, the game needed a lot of improvements. And I want to see what, what else is there in this game that wasn't in the demo, what what more do we have here? So let's go ahead, get started now that the introduction is out of the way. <clears throat> Walt, hello, welcome. Welcome, stream. Let me just... There we go. Okay. Let's get started. A new game. Check the My Story menu in your tablet to find out your objectives. Now, this is related to our channel because this is like an indie game. I love indie games and simulators. We also love fishing in this on this channel so there are fish as well hi welcome to aquascapers i am rick and i'll be your assistant uh what's your name bro oh no letters loud bro come on mr we will just go with mr here enter your business name <laughs> all right um you guys know how very creative i am so what the heck am i gonna do here Any suggestions? Fish. And... Oh, I can't even do that, bro. Fish and plants go yeet. There we go. Alright, great. Now I'll teach you the basics of running an aquascape business. I think... Finding a proper name was going to be the first one, but you didn't teach me a lesson on that, so. Alright, first move all the items you've acquired to the inventory. We have the stones here. Move to inventory, it says. Oh, I'm sorry, Walt. I just I just selected. I, <laughs> I didn't wait. Each item will be automatically placed in its respective storage location. This is Fishies. And the plants are here. Perfect. And the rocks and everything is here. We already saw this. Uh, should I skip tutorial? How do I skip tutorial? Alright, so this is the inside. Okay, I closed the doors, but the water sound still comes. This is the gallery. Akai interior. Iguami style. Types of stone. I love uh, this about the game. Uh, there's more styles. There we go. That's that's one style. Okay, I, I guess it's just showing me one. Okay. This is our computer. Welcome. Ooh. Okay. The client asks you to create an aquascape according to their desired design. So this is our email account. Our inbox via one dacmoon at aquascape.com. Make an aquarium for me. Dang you, I'm so demanding, bro. Uh, hello, I heard you are one of the rising new aquascapers. I'm interested in hiring your services to create an iguami style aquascape in my house. Guys, if I am pronouncing these wrong, 
please let me know. Um, I want an aquascape arrangement style that suits the design of my house. Please come by my house to set it up. What are required? One uh, Oyashi sized stone. Okay, location. These are the maps. It tells you which maps these stones are on. This stone, this stone, this stone, and five tetras. Guy loves a stone. That's his house, bro. We are going to yeet his wallet right towards us. Damn. That's a, that's a very nice house. So fee is a hundred bucks. Why is he charging me a hundred bucks to come to his house? We're going to accept. The project has been successfully okay. Click on go to Zach Moon's house. Go to Zach Moon's house. Hundred dollar fee. All right, this is the guy, 55 year old. Zach Moon is a client who entrusts his aquascape project to experts in the field. He has a very high taste and chooses to work with the best aquascapers in the world. Okay, bro, why did he contact me? I'm clearly brand new to this. This is my first contract. Oh man, Zach, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you can observe this house to plan a uh, suitable aquascape design. That's cool. I can look around. I can. Ooh, nice. Uh, what is this? LG TV. Oh yeah, that is. All right. Very, very bland. Uh, but I love it. All right. So if we want, we can sort of look at how it is here and go about that screenshot. We can take a screenshot here. All right. Uh, you can see all the current project objectives in the current panel to our right. Uh, click to manage. All right, let's go ahead and All right scroll a gizmo mode. What is gizmo mode? Ah, like that. Okay, I see. Control. Ah, okay. Control and Alt. Hold space to move vertically. Oh, I love this. Okay. Let's do it like this. <coughs> Um, I wish I could zoom in more towards the aquarium. Uh, this can be right here. This can be... And just to make this like, uh... It's the suit. I think that looks okay. Then we can have like a rock like this here all right uh now we need to add five fish it tells you it's really cool all right five tetras added great you have completed all the objectives next click to complete the order bro this is all he wanted he has a very high taste i don't what and then it gives a nice little cutscene. i like it you know what i like it Nice cutscene. Oh, from the top too. That is cool. You can see the detail of the rocks and the fish. Uh, so that's pretty cool. The soil is absolutely disgusting. I don't know why he wanted that color. Um, I would have changed the substrate, but it's a tutorial. So aquascape image has been added to your gallery and showcased in public gallery. Uh oh, thanks for the hard work. <laughs> Here are your words. Oh, he gives me hundred bucks. And zero reputation, five reputation points, or was it zero? I don't know. Okay, nice little tutorial here. While we wait. Congratulations on your first successful project. Now it's time to buy a new fish tank uh, to place it in the home base. All right, we got a hundred bucks. Uh, are you sure you want to buy a $50 aquarium? Yes. I want sandstone, this type of darker color. This fish tank is for practicing, arranging, and making aquascapes for sale at auctions. Let's check the inbox to see information about trends and interest in the auction market. Um, all right, perfect. So the background is completely ugly. And I just wanted a dark background and this is perfect. You can turn the light on and off. But in the client's house, I really hope it's not bright in the in behind. 
that was my biggest biggest issue with this game and it's still you know they haven't done anything about it uh there's a light here uh, because when you're supposed to focus into the aquarium and the water column there shouldn't be anything behind that distracts you or makes it harder for you uh to get a gauge of the depth you know the horizontal depth here is what i'm talking about when you have this brick layout and you have plants and stuff here this thing is going to be very distracting so that's aquarium 101 welcome okay i don't like that welcome sound it's creepy all right so this guy wants stones this guy wants glossal stigma which is a foreground plant this guy wants five tetras if you want to keep glossal you need a high-tech system, so you need CO2, you need nutrients. I don't know how this bro is going to keep up with that. That project. Okay, great. Uh, now let's get ready. First, log out. You must have some items as listed in the project. Uh, to obtain these items, you are going to explore for them in Air Area Stone. <coughs> that is the name of the map. All right, that's where we will go. Go to the toolbox to pick up equipment for collecting items. All right, we have a shovel. We have a fishnet. We have gloves. We have a ooh, locator. Perfect. We have everything. All right, open your map. This is our tablet here. There are our objectives. This is what we need to collect. My story is not available right now. Map. Look at this. Okay, there's so there's uh there were three maps I think in the demo. Yeah, there were three maps. One, two, three, like this. And then in the full version, there's two more. Actually, there's only one more. This is auction hall. That's new as well. <laughs> so I remember there were three maps. I think one and one new map is here okay the house was already here before and the auction house is new so let's go ahead go here please return later if your plants or hardscape spot is not there all right here we go welcome to this map here you can collect stones and aquatic plants i just wish graphically the textures were better uh when you spawn here even in the demo when i first time spawned i was like wait hold on is this running at like 240p or something? You know, the resolution. Uh, but it is what it is. Alright. This is a stone. We're supposed to collect this. Alright, we're going to dig it out. Whoa, look at the detail on this. Like actual 3D detail. I really like that. That's pretty cool. And it tells you the history. If you want to learn more about aquascaping, this is really good. Uh, stone is a type of natural stone originating from Japan and is often used in the art of water garden or aquascape. This stone originated from the mountains in uh, Rio area, Gifu Prefecture, Japan. Other stone. I really like that. This is a very short, sure accurate information. And uh, it's really good. I like it. All right. We have one stone here. Uh, great. You can check the contents of your bag by pressing B. We have one stone. I think my uh, wall ambient was too loud. I also did this to 60. Why is it back to 120 again? All right, perfect. So right now it's making it easy for us by telling us where everything is. So let's do that later on. It won't tell us. I'm running, bro. This is so slow. This can't be running. On the top left, it tells me I'm running, but. All right, there's another stone. All right, what is this? This is a real D. All right, this comes from the same place, of course. There's another stone here. All right, here we have the Wata. And we're gonna. This is the Glosso right here. Look at that. This is all. It's so cute. There, you're gonna pick up. I'm holding down the button. If I let it go, it won't complete. So I have to hold it down.
Dorsostigma. Uh, is an aquatic plant originating from Australia. That's cool. This plant has small and fine green leaves with round shaped and tapered uh, tip. Glosso can grow on the surface of substrate and give an attractive appearance. This plant is often used as a foreground plant. Critical information. I'm so happy they included this. Glosso in aquariums is only used for foreground plant. That was good because of its small and solid size. This is not how it looks like in aquariums though. Uh, this is in nature makes sense uh, but usually if it's growing like this in your aquarium it means you don't have enough lighting it requires high light uh so it's trying to grow vertically because you know it's trying to get more light so it grows towards the surface uh glosso can grow one to three centimeters width of five ten in optimal condition and this spreads and covers your entire substrate which is what you want okay um very shallow water okay walk right here more glosso here. Perfect. You can see there's other plants too. So that's cool. Vidivi, hi. Welcome. What's up? Okay, more glosso. Alright, three glossos is what we need. All right, perfect. Bro, you need to run faster. This is very slow. We came to this island on a boat. All right, this is the other stone here. Other size, rather, the same type. Also in Japan, same area. All right, perfect. That's the last thing we need. Now, what's the game? Look, it's interesting. Aquascapers, it's about aquariums. You know, uh, plants, freshwater plants, and fish in an aquarium. But you gotta be, go out in the island, on islands, and collect resources like that. So it's really cool. And I wanted to check it out. Uh, also in Japan. Okay, perfect. You've collected all the items for your aquascape. Time to return home. Open the map, press tab. All right, map. Let's go back home. The so different islands have different unique types of stones and fish. All right, this is our bag. Move to inventory. Perfect. Look at that. Our plants were moved there. Our hardware, hardscape plants moved there. And our fish are over there. Now you can <coughs> start arranging the aquascape for the auction project. In the aquascapes, there are various styles of arrangement, one of which is the Guami Iwagumi, Iwagumi, Iwagumi style. Iwagumi is a style of uh, aquascape from Japan, which means rock formation. That represents simplicity. So stones or rocks are used as the main attraction. Let's arrange. All right, we're going to turn the lights off first, right? Perfect. Go ahead and... Damn it, I forgot how to rotate. There we go, that's how you... <laughs> All right, Vidivi, I appreciate you popping by anyway. Uh, have a safe trip back. Have a safe travels. Hey, we can actually zoom in and out and we can change the angle. Perfect. Uh, you choose suggestion from a bigger segment you want to target. Now place the other stones in the aquarium. Perfect. You can see this is sort of like a valley here. Uh, I can maybe move this a little bit over here. Like that. It's very narrow, but... Uh, rig Roost? Big Roost, I'm sorry. Hello, welcome. Is this better than Aquarius or however you spell it? Well, I just started this game. 
Uh, so I won't be able to give you a proper answer, uh, but I would say yes, it is. Uh, because this, you can actually go out into the world and collect stuff, and no other game has that. The aquascaping part is what I'm really interested in, and that's going to really decide if this is better or not. Um, give me a moment. Is there is one more game. There is one more aquascaping game. Um, that I am finding the name for you. Okay, Aquarium Designer to me is the greatest aquatic game uh, because the plants placement the colors are the best no other game has that yet uh, but this game just has more things to do this glossa you can see This glossal looks very ugly. As you can see here, uh, this is not how it's supposed to be used. And I think that's where this game takes a beating. Uh, the plants aren't really that great looking. Uh, there's not enough variety of plants and this is not how I want my glossal. Uh, there is no snipping tool either. Maybe there is, I don't know. this looks terrible so let me just place this gloss over here also can come right here also can come here and there we go that looks a little bit better all right uh so put this on auction what does he say hmm there is not enough stones and i could scrape with many plants is cooler so they all want more stuff uh but this is what the tutorial is telling me to do so that's what i'll do put it on auction are you sure yes <laughs> all right so this is the auction house all right and you can see how much i don't like the background the fans and all that garbage and the white uh, it just takes away from this and i wish that wasn't the case all right so this is the auction house these are the bidders and look at that this guy is giving us the most amount of money 2700 bucks for this for my aquarium uh, with everything inside it. Uh, bidders will offer prices based on the value of your aquascape. You can choose one bidder with the bidding price you think is appropriate. So I'm going to go with obviously the highest bidder. All right, now why is he offering us this much? It tells you everything, which is really cool. I really like that. Next bidder, they give us less money, but here's their reasoning. So. Yeah, unit value 19 bucks. So I spent 251 bucks here. And I didn't really spend it because I was out in the field and it got these for free. And these are all <clears throat> the reasons that he's happy with. And he's paying me this much for each. Are you sure you want to sell? Yes. You got 2,700 bucks. Congrats. Nice. Aquascape image has been added to your gallery and showcased in public gallery. Check your gallery and home base. Okay. How are you guys doing? Congratulations, you have completed your first auction project. Now I want to invite you to my house to see my Aquascape. Open the map on your tablet by pressing tab. Uh, Paldarium House. Ooh, we have new stuff. <laughs> All right, so he's going to flex um, on our face and show off his, his aquascape, his pallid, palladium. Welcome to my house here. I want to show you the pal, pal, paludarium I've created. Approach the paludarium. I put hell time in Aquarius, so I have been in the market for another game like this. Hey, I think. You're going to enjoy this. This is sort of like an open world game. 
Uh, we're going to see more as the tutorial takes us through it. Uh, but if you've played Aquarius, Aquarius, when it comes to aquascaping, isn't that great. I'm going to be for real with you. And I think this game might be at the same level, but with more content. If you're strictly, if you care about plants and making an aquarium look amazing with plants, these games are not it. Not Aquarius is definitely not it. And I don't think this game is either. I know I want this dude's house. It's like a cottage, bro. Look at this massiveness. Wow. Look at his yard. He has trees. Oh my god. That's his front gate. Okay. Not really a driveway, but I mean, I'm not going to complain, right? <laughs> oh man. Look at this. This looks amazing. Bowsers. Click for overview. Your ultimate goal is to create a large and beautiful uh, paludarium like this. However, you must complete several aquascape projects first. To enhance your skills in building more complex pals, press escape key to exit. No, I want to look at this right now. You can see there's no foreground plants and that's my biggest issue right now. Uh, but it's not bad. All right, let's press escape here. He has a few fish. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know what this is, uh, but I feel like this is not in the game. It's not a rock and we don't have a moss like this either. That's Java moss. Uh, we have the moss balls. Uh, I don't see them here. He hasn't placed them here, but this, I don't know what weirdness this is. All right. Uh, now let's go back to your home brace. Okay. I, all right. I was hoping he would talk a little bit about his major project, but I guess he's not interested. All right, now let's open the PC to check for new emails. Okay. Uh, okay. Welcome. Welcome. All right, there's new email from client requesting a jungle style aquarium. Items to create a jungle style aquarium it can be found in Altigua Jungle. El -ting 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 oh my God, I can't, I don't know. Click accept project. Okay, so let's read his email. <clears throat> Hello, nice to meet you. I got information about your aquascape business from the bidding event held yesterday at the bidding hall. Uh, this person wants four types of four wood, four plants and four fish. Uh, Yamada. Yamada. Hello. Welcome. Kenji. Kenji's the one. Okay. That's their house. Hot damn. Bro, we got some rich people. All right. So that's their house and they want their aquarium to be placed here. And I'm going to be the one who's going to, you know, aquascape it. All right. Let's go to Yamada. What? Click to go to Yamada. Why? I need to collect all the stuff before I go to his house. So this guy's 30 years old and he's this rich, bro. Make this at least believable. Plan is extremely obsessed with the beauty of nature and art. He is very interested in aquascaping because it can create a miniature of a beautiful nature in a limited space. As an artist, Yamada wants to be in an aqu aquascape project that can be considered a work of art. He wants to create a water garden that can depict a beautiful, a, the beauty of Japanese nature with a unique com combination of colors and a beautiful layout. <laughs> Bro, you're not going to get that. Look at this house. He has like a natural grass and bamboos growing. Bamboo grow extremely quickly. So he's going to have issues by probably tomorrow morning. All right. All items can be obtained in Antigua jungle. So let's open the map and go there. Okay. Uh, map. This is where we're going to go. Thick forest with various woods and aquatic plants. There's one, two, three, four maps. Uh, there's that house and there's an auction hall. I don't know what auction hall is. That's new. All right. There's also upgrades in the game and I can't wait uh, to see that. Okay. Okay. Looks nice. Looks beautiful here. You can collect wood plants and fish You can search for wood around trees. You can search for aquatic plants 
around the river stream. You can catch various types of fish in the lake. Try looking around the area near the base of a large trunk tree. Large tree. Okay. So what do we need? We need wood. Here's a piece of wood. Uh, this is the wood we need. Yeah. Let's dig it out. I don't know why we need to dig out wood. All right, this is the wood. And I, like I mentioned earlier, these are all real information on the background of things. And I really like that. Latin name for this, a type of wood originating from Southeast Asia, including Indonesia. This wood is often used as decorative material in the art of water park or aquascape, especially in the arrangement of natural appearance that resembles forests or rivers. Nice. All right, we need four of these, so let's go. Ooh, I like this one. <coughs> this is a real good looking one. I have still not recovered from the cold, guys. I am struggling at times. All right, we did level up. All right, so this is the level up uh, leveling tab. My story map. Oh, I got to go back home to... Uh, I gotta go back home to level up, I guess. Alright, so we need more. One right here. We also need four plants. Here's another one. I like the driftwood in this this game. Uh, they look really good. All right, perfect. Now we need to collect aquatic plants and they are going to be in our streams. You can see here, this is Monte Carlo. We got uh, Murdania. All right, we got Hygrophilia. I love this guy. And a word. That's what I used to call it. Hygrophilia. Perfect. Red stems. Uh, is one of the most uh, popular aquatic plants. Plant originated from India. The thing is, I had a Hygrophilia SP India, and that strain had red tips, edges of the leaves, red, uh, orange to red. So that was amazing. And I feel this is a different variant, not as, as red, but it could also be because of the lighting and stuff. Right, I need more. What is this? I'll take this. <laughs> it looks disgusting. That plant. Uh, no, I don't like that plant. Let's get more of this. Okay. I don't like this plant. Um, I guess we can select this one too. You can see how low quality the plant texture is and like, what is this? What am I looking at? You know, why? Why isn't it high quality? All right, we have all the plants. Now let's go to the lake and uh, capture some fish, not, not some fish. What? What did it say? You are. Oh, your bag is full. Okay. Warning, this lake is home to a variety of fish species, but has significant depth. Be careful. All right, we got to look for fish. Oh, there's a fish. We don't want to get too close. I like how the fish are in circle. And we just smash them with a <laughs> fishing net. There we go. We got giant dwarf gourami. Isn't that cool? Let's zoom in. Very not so good texture. Giant Grammy, dwarf Grammy, is a freshwater fish originating from South, a South Asia. This fish has a flat and long body with a variety of body color, namely bluish green, red, and orange. The fish can be 10 centimeters. They also have two like mustaches in the front. Uh, calm and peaceful, then clean water. Doesn't talk about the mustache. Oh, what? There's still fish here? Okay. What is this? Uh, platy. 
Okay, Platy's prolific breeder. We just need a male and female. All right, there's more fish here. Oh, too close. So I like it. You know, there's animation for each action. I like it. Uh, dwarf cichlid. This is not a community fish. I don't think this will go with our community fish. But I don't think this game cares, if I'm being honest with you here. Here we go. Uh, sword tail experience point level two. Perfect. Great job. You've collected all the items for your aqua skit. Now it's time to return to home base to store the items in your inventory. Um. All right, move to inventory. All right, so these are the items I've collected. These are the wood, the four pieces of wood, a driftwood I collected, uh, the fish, the four fish I've collected here, and the four plants. So you can actually see them in 3D. It's just unfortunate. Texture's no good. Okay. Now what do we need? Log to the PC check. Welcome. Okay, let's go to his house. Walk to it. See the background? I hate that. There's bamboo and other distractions here. All right, let's put wood first. This is our biggest piece, though. Gonna look good here. I am going to move these this. Bear with me. Yenu, hi, welcome. What's up? Okay, uh, this we can move a little bit here. I think that's fine. What's up, Yanu? How's it going? Uh, let's put these ugly things in the back here. Here. Hygrophilia. Can I even change the size of the plant? I cannot. I don't see any option, unfortunately. I'll go playing some RF4 and Fisher Online at the same time. <laughs> I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Are you excited for the new map? I don't know when it's coming out. I was hoping this weekend because I have a lot of time this weekend to stream. Uh, but I feel like maybe by next weekend it'll be out. Let's put the fish in. All right, there we go. Order completed. Does the aquarium look any good? Not at all. Uh, but this is basically the game. I think it'll be at least two weeks. Okay, okay. Let's see how long it takes. I just hope the map is good. I hope we can catch fish and it's not just boring and dreary and zero money. All right, complete order. Now we have a cutscene, so let's watch this cutscene here. As usual, I cannot see anything because I only see bamboos. There we go. All right, cool. All right, is our client happy? Thanks for the hard work. Here's your reward. 150 bucks he gave me and we got 10 reputation points. Game takes a while to load too, and it's installed on my SSD. 
All right, congratulations, you've completed the tutorial. I just want a new catfish and maybe a new sturge. Big fish, yes. That'd be pretty cool. All right, there we go. Tutorial is complete. We can now activate multiplayer mode. Okay, <laughs> not interested. Not expecting anything besides carpos, yeah. All right, I just moved into my new house, my little blah, blah, blah. Look at this house. They have plants on their roof. This is insane. Their house. Very cool, very cool. I'm not going to do that. I am, however, going to buy a fish tank. All right, let's go out, grab some fish and stuff, make our aquarium, and then sell it at the auction. Oh, hold on. Why do they only have one style? One aquascape style? What the heck? Alright. Akai interior style. Ooh. Look at this. We can change the style of our house. Ooh, that's cool. Ceiling lights. Wall lamp. Fish tank tables. The issue I have is you cannot select the size of the aquarium, unfortunately. Like, this is the one size aquarium in this game, and that's it. <laughs> Alright, Aquascape Gallery. Let's see here. So these are galleries. These are different people's galleries. All right, this person made a nice wood aquascape, but you know, barely any plants, any fish. Okay. I don't know what this person was doing. That wood is looking the wrong way. This, I can't see anything because there's bamboo behind it. Featured. Oh my God. How did this person get this? They spent hours just getting all of this. Uh, by the way, the Russian sturgeon spot on Sura, they are super fairly active there, so I plan to hit that spot. I wish you the best. I hope you get a trophy. Look at this. This is what we need. I think that's moss, and they just had to spend hours collecting all of this moss and placing it. They didn't place a hair because they ran out of time, probably. That's really good. I like it. Uh, but you can see everything is green, and it's hard to tell what's going on here. Is it three types of plants? Because I see one needle plant here, one pla type of plant here, and one type of plant here. Uh, so it's a little hard to see, but this, it's really good. I like this too. I like this too. Look at this. Lots of wood. A little too much wood, actually. Alright. Let's stop dilly-dallying. And I want to look at upgrades. How do you upgrade? Uh, level C, license, develop any aquascape layout freely. Level B, clients trust you to develop the aquascape layout they desire. Buy for 1k. You got more expensive ones, I guess. Exploration. Ooh. I need to buy. Oh, I need to buy the licenses. And I need 2k money. To go to the next map i see bag i need to buy three one k what does that mean buy three diamond the heck is it what buy five upgrades oh in order to buy i need level one reputation point and a level 3 experience point. I get it. So I need to be level 3 experience. And one kid to buy a medium backpack. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Item locator. Business expansion. Room expansion. Fish and plant cultivation. Aladarium business. Very cool. So when I dig for rocks and wood, uh, buying a better shovel will process like decrease the time it takes all right 
let's go ahead and go to let's go to this jungle here yeah let's collect whatever we can don't forget to check the item locator feature good luck Oh, here we go. Look at that. That's cool. Telling me the plants are here, the stones are here. Uh, but it's not that hard to find stuff, so I'm not going to waste my time. Because pulling on the tablet takes so much time. I'm not going to bother. Look at this. Uh, this comes from Southeast Asia, this wood, including Indonesia. Okay. Got this wood. Now, uh, doing all these actions is giving us reputation points. Look at that. Experience point. I don't like that wood. I need something that looks better. I see a tiny little piece. Oh, that is a big boy. That's a thick trunk. I'll take that. And I saw something here. Sure, I'll take that too. Now, my current bag can only hold, hold four of each item. Each type. Press B. The rocks, I can only hold three, uh, four plants, four wood, four, and fish, four. And in order to unlock this, I need to uh, buy the upgrades. What is this? Hydro? Sure. Just to level up quickly, we're just going to select all of these. Ooh, let's check the background. What is what is this plant? Where does it originate? Alright, it's one of the popular plants. This plant in uh, South America is where it originates. It has a round and small bright leaves. Very cool. Foreground or mid-ground plant. Okay. Alright, four of four plants down, and now we need... How do you catch fish? Oh, you're about to see. Alright, so fish are in the lakes and ponds. Need to be careful here. There we go, there's fish there, but I don't want to get too close or you'll spook the fish. Alright, there's, there's fish here. Alright, and whack! We use the net. You didn't catch it. What? Are you kidding me? This is R4 garbage. I don't need that stuff in this game. Alright, let's try again. Uh, we got three giant dwarf garamis. Cool, we got three of them. Yeah, we're just poaching, basically. Also known as this, originate in South Asia. All right, perfect. Ooh, can we upgrade? Yes, we can upgrade. We're level three reputation. Buy this right away. Uh, square shovel fishing. I'm going to do... Oh, we need five. Okay. Animation is silly. Look, they're coming back. Fish are coming back. It's regenerating the spot. It's something at least. You didn't catch anything. Are you kidding me, bro? Okay, let's search for fish. Oh, there's something there. It said it's a deep lake. I know you wouldn't catch anything, would you? <laughs> uh, we got neon tetras here. Uh, originate in South America and Central America. Bright color and unique body shape. They're often used as ornamental fish in aquariums. I've had a lot of Neon Tetras, and one unique thing about Neon Tetras is they somehow find ways to disappear and just kill themselves. Alright. 
Uh, they usually size... Okay, there are many different types. Tetra, including Neons, Cardinal Tetra, Black Skirt Tetra, and a Glow Light. Perfect. How many fish do we have? Uh, we got more, three more we can catch. Whack! Go. Uh, peacock gudgeon fish. These are beautiful fish, but as you can see, the texture is horrible. This fish has a beautiful bright color. I wish, like, I could actually look at this fish. You know, because this is tiny. Alright, I think I can catch one more fish. So let's go ahead. Back a mole here. I had a lot of angel fish in the past. Angel fish are good looking. Uh, Rasboras. I've had all of these fish in the past. All the fish we have here I've already had in the past, except for the gudgeon. That's new. I've had garamis, everything, literally. Alright, we need rocks. Um, I don't think there's rocks on this map, so we're gonna have to go on another map to collect rocks. <coughs> yeah. Good looking, but for real. <laughs> yeah. Um... Okay. The big driftwood. Oh yeah, it tells you when you cannot collect anything. That's good. Welcome everyone, please hit that like button, please subscribe. Watch. And keep up with awesome content. I try my best to stream as much as possible. I like to check out different games. Besides our usual, you know, RF4 and fishing games as well. So, I think my bag is full. Yep, it will tell me no more. Actually, let's just check out the fish. Maybe I can catch more fish. No, fish are full. Okay. Uh, I can get a few more freshwater plants. Let's go ahead and go to our river. Collect. You run faster sideways. Look at this. I'm running straight. Okay, now look. I'm running sideways. <laughs> I feel you run faster. Alright, plants are... Not here. They're in the river. Ooh, I like this guy. I also had a lot of blood red parrot cichlids. Two of them lived over 17 years. Damn! He must have had a big aquarium to have parrots. And to have cichlids. You can't have anything else with, you know, cichlids. I had black convicts. And that was a mistake. But I was new to the hobby, so... 220 liters. How many gallons is that? Unfortunately, here in Canada, we still use gallons. We don't use liters when it comes to aquariums. Can get this guy. Thank you for googling. Um, the Hotonia. Commonly use aquascape. This plant is known as snow plant. This plant has thin stems with round leaves and fibrous roots. The leaves are bright. Usually planted in water. Does not say where this plant came from or originates from. Ooh. The Gitira. Okay, I like this. Uh, this plant comes from North America. Probably down in Florida you can get this. Okay, we are full. Around 50 gallons? Okay, okay. Pretty good, pretty good. I had 45 gallon. And I was growing a lot of plants. Like... 45 different species of plants I was growing at one point. Um, I had shrimps. I had a lot of shrimps. And fish as well. So, yeah. Those were the days I was heavy in the hobby. Alright, let's go uh, to this place. Grab a few stones. 
time is it? Five? Damn. Five already. Okay. The parrot sickly there was no way to have plants. Yeah, I know, I know. Grab all the stones we can. This is from Japan. Uh, I got so involved with plants, I eventually focused solely on solely on plants and I didn't care about fish too much later on. And then I ended up moving and I never started the hobby back up, but I'm hoping someday I will. Uh, but it was a lot of maintenance having a high tech setup. Well, this is another type of stone. I don't want that right now. Got mushrooms here. I was importing plants from US, I was growing them, and I was shipping them across Canada at one point. I was heavy in the mix, as one would say. <laughs> Alright, we have room for one or two more stones. that it? No. And this might be our last one. So what we're going to do is after we collect everything, we're going to go home and we're going to make our own aquarium and we're going to auction it off and see how much money we can get. I can still collect more stones. Now you don't have to place everything you got in the field right away in an aquarium, but I will. All right. We our inventory is full. So let's go ahead and go home. Reputation points. And. Map. Go home base. Hey, you dropped the hobby when you moved out of the parents' house. The flat I have is too small for that. Better you have a snake. That takes a lot of place. Damn, you have a snake? You're really into the hobby. Alright. Place an inventory. Look at that. Okay, fish we placed in the aquariums. Temporary plants we have placed in aquariums. That's really cool. You can actually see the work you did. These are all the plants I collected and the fish. All right, let's go ahead and make our aquarium here. Let's turn the light off. All right. Big stone here. Ball python. Maintaining a good starting animal. Really? That's cool. Um, I like this jagged side. Place it here. Now, see, these are the people, the bidders, and they like and dislike certain actions, and I really like that. Hey! Thank you so much for the follow prolong. Welcome to the family. What I don't like is I cannot change the size. Uh, click to rotate. That's it. I cannot change the size. Re terraform. And terraform. Okay, we can make the back a little bit. A little bit higher. Better thing is very similar to house flippers. Yeah, it is. All right, let's move it out here. And can you smooth it out? Hello? This is not smoothing it out, bro. I'm left clicking. Okay, I don't know what's wrong with the smooth function, uh, but it's not doing anything. Latin. Flatten it here. Okay, smoothen it out. I think it's working now, maybe? Alright, there we go. <clears throat> Exit that. Template. Okay. Uh, no. No, I want to go back. How do I go back? 
Okay, perfect. So, unfortunately, you cannot change the size. So, I really don't understand what's the issue with this game. <laughs> Once you place it, then you can... Oh, the tiny little stone here. The place it there. This guy. Perfect. Oh, they don't like it. What the heck? Uh, and I just like. Take it back. Click and hold. Take a screenshot. Wait. Uh oh. How do I? How do I take it back? <gasps> it literally deletes it. Are you kidding me? Why can't I put it back in my inventory? That is stupid. All right. Let's deal with wood here. Okay, guy I like, sort of, uh, hmm. guy's too big though. I need a smaller piece. Okay, this works. Nah. I think these two pieces are enough. They're they're massive. All right, let's do high grow is here. High grow is here. This guy back here. Got uh hello, can I lower this please? See what I'm talking about? Like, how the heck am I supposed to fill up space when it's like this? There we go. That's our very first aquarium. So in order for me to fill up space with plants, it will take me forever. So right now I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait till my scale is high enough and I have equipment that's... No, massive. Uh, the best equipment so I can harvest everything very quickly. Because right now, if I try and make the best aquarium, it'll take me hours. Uh, so we will slowly build that up. Put on auction. Are you sure you want to put this aquarium into the auction? Yes. Check the My Story Met. Okay. All right, here we go. This is our aquarium. Someone's offering us 2,700 bucks. Um, also, there's no, there's no like uh, option to, you know, buy equipment. So this filter will always be there. This type of light, light fixture will always be here. Um, aquarium size will always be the same. So it's not, it's, I don't know. Very limited. So there we go. Looks cool. This Neon Tetra is bigger than the Garami and the Rasbora, which is a little concerning. All right, let's click this guy. Now, why is he paying us 2700 bucks? Because of this. We have all of these items here. We have Rasboras, we have Tetras, uh, we have the stones, Garamis, and it tells you the quantity and how much each w uh, thing is worth. Uh, and that gives us 387 bucks. Now, layout according to Aquascape style. Odd number of stones, 300 bucks is the bonus. All stones are the same category. Um, there are Raspora or Tetras. 
So it gives you money according to that style too. That's very cool. Yes, please. Yay. There we go. We sold our first aquarium. That we made. All right. Let's go to the showroom. Uh, so you can see I used up all my plants, I used up all my fish, but I did not use up all of my rocks and wood. I still have it, so I have more inventory space if I collect more. Blackwascapers Gallery. So these are the aquariums I've made so far. Uh, my image is 4, my image is in public showcase 3 of 3. Let's... Put this. Okay, let's uh, move up pub public. Thank you. Can can you do it now, please? And let's publish this. Very bare bone, but whatever's whatevs. Okay, that is done with. Uh, ooh, look at this. Okay, so these are all the type of plants in the game. All right, and we have discovered one, two, three, four, five, five, six species of plants. One, two, three, four, five, six species of plants. So there's more plants to discover. All right, and as for the fish, we have discovered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven types of fish so far. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's buy an aquarium. Buy sand shells. Ew. Okay. And that's... Welcome. Hey, look. Uh, we invite you to participate in Aquascape Auction. Make sure you send your best design because leading aquascaping experts will be present in the city. Jungle style. Ooh. Fish. Four fish, four wood. Two hydrophilia, two uh, Sagittaria plants. Except Le Project. So, yeah, now they just want me to go out in the field and collect this stuff, make my own aquarium, put it on auction, and I will gain points from that. How much experience do I have right now? I have two experience points. Can I buy anything? I need five. For everything else. Man. Uh, buy one. Reputation is going up. By doing missions. Experiences by. Um, uh, picking up plants and stuff. So very cool. I like this side of it. You know. Uh, there's experience system. You go out in the field. And you. You, you know. Collect these things. That I've never seen before. It hasn't been done before in aquascaping games. So this is new and it's welcomed. But besides that, the actual aquascaping side of it is unfortunately very lacking. Um, you know, there's... I cannot change the size of anything. I cannot cut plants, make them shorter. I cannot... Change the size of stones. Uh, the texture is just not there. Unfortunately, I just... It's tough. It's tough. You know, to to say it properly. Uh, but... I will continue playing the game. You know, I will level up. I definitely want to show you guys the other maps. Alright, we have two more maps to go. Auction Hall... Um, okay, auction hall is basically the hall you go to to sell stuff. That's literally useless. Uh, Paladarium is useless too. But, uh, yeah, two more maps we have to go to. So, that's gonna be it for the stream. It was a quick look at the game. I'd love, to, I will make episodes and we will continue. We will pick up from here and continue the journey. Um, I just need to grind in the background off screen basically why is this not exiting what the heck
It did, <laughs> the game won't let me exit. It just saves game. I need to go into Steam to stop the game. That is not good. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I just wanted to showcase this game. I could not wait to share it with you. And, uh, yeah, uh, more streams coming this weekend. So I hope all of you there, I hope you have a great weekend and a great rest of your Friday night. And I will see you next time until then guys. Enjoy.